Inside this abandoned warehouse in Newark, New Jersey, lies the future of food technology. A 10-year-old startup called Aero Farms has created a research lab for a different type of farming. We're a vertical farming company. Our mission is to build and operate farms in cities. Aero Farms CEO David Rosenberg says the concept is simple. Use artificial lighting, aeroponics, and climate control to increase production up to 70 times greater than field farms. That also enables us to go high. So the vertical, and this is the air and aero farms, means like in the air. So here we're standing alongside something that's seven levels high. We're building these that are 12 levels high, that are 80 feet long. We're building right now the world's largest vertical farm that has 35 of these stacks. And they are backed with the help of big investors like Goldman Sachs and Prudential Financial. When big companies get involved, it's a great reassurance to the community that this technology makes economic sense. The new $39 million project expects to yield 2 million pounds of kale, arugula, and other greens a year without any natural sunlight. Seed to harvest, they're grown in 16 days versus 30 days in the field. That enables us to have 22 crop turns a year. And we do that using 95% less water, zero pesticides, herbicides, fungicides and about 60% less fertilizers. Though the concept isn't new, it's only now becoming more economically feasible, especially since consumers' tastes are changing. Whether it's fertilizers or pesticides, they just don't want all that residue. It is estimated that the average American male travels 1,500 miles to get to your dinner plate. Vertical farms can eliminate transportation costs and cut down on spoilage, supplying only to local stores and restaurants. But there are drawbacks and limitations on what they can grow. At today's cost structure, there are limitations in terms of what makes economic sense. So for example, row crops, uh, wheat, corn, and so forth, doesn't make economic sense today. Michael Darren is a plant scientist, and he says most people are weary of the idea at first. I think once this technology is implemented, people will, will get it and see that food is produced much faster, more efficiently, and in a much healthier way.